How do you make the big bucks with commercial real estate investing? How do you massively increase the property value and the cash flow? Well, I have two solutions for you. Let's take a look at my very interesting graph I have here. I have property value versus years of ownership over two properties, property one and property two. Let's take a look at property one first, all right? So in property one, I'm gonna start off, it, it's worth a million dollars. I'm gonna bring the value up to two million dollars, but it's gonna take me 20 years to do that, right? So in 20 years, I'll be able to double the property value and so make it worth a whole lot more, increase the cash flow, but what did I have to do? I had to wait, all right? So waiting is solution number one it, to make the big bucks in commercial to produce uh, massive property value and cash flow. Assuming that I'm a good operator and I'm constantly uh, raising the rents over the 20 years, okay? Now, if you are over 40, perhaps this is not for you to wait 20 years, probably not, right? Well, I have a solution for you all, and it is with property number two. Property number two, I'm going to take the value from one million up to two million, but it's going to take me only five years. How do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is instead of waiting, I am going to force. I'm going to force the value. I'm going to force the appreciation upward. How do I do that? Well, that's what this video is called. It's called value add commercial real estate investing. What I'm going to do here to force the value is I am going to add value to my commercial property to make it worth more. If I do that, uh, it will increase my property value very quickly. Remember that word, value add commercial real estate. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, define what uh, value add commercial real estate is. I'm going to show you how to locate them, how to evaluate them. I'm going to give you a roadmap on how to create your own uh, big bucks commercial value add deal. And lastly, I will share with you a real deal from one of our students that bought a $3 million property and now is worth $6 million. And he didn't do it in 20 years, not in five years, but in two and a half years. I will share that exact deal with you. Hello everyone, I'm Peter Harris with Commercial Property Advisors. I am the author of my best-selling book, Commercial Real Estate Investing for Dummies. I'm also the author of my new bestseller, Commercial Real Estate Investing for Beginners. But guess what? We also have the number one YouTube channel on commercial real estate investing, and that's because of you, so thank you very much. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make the big bucks with commercial real estate value add investing. Let's get started. Let's start right here with what is value add commercial real estate? Well, it is exactly what I said it was. A value add commercial property is when you can add value to your commercial property. It can be an apartment building, a shopping center, a re uh, retail center, office building, uh, industrial warehouse. It can be whatever type of commercial you want it to be, but it basically is where you can add value to the property uh, by doing certain things. Now, what is this value and how do you add it? Well, let me explain. Uh, commercial real estate 101, and by watching my videos, you know by now that as you increase the NOI, the property value goes up as well, right? You know that by now, right? Of course you do. Let me show you graphically how that works. When you can increase the net operating income or the NOI, right? As the NOI goes up, so does the property value, right? This is commercial real estate 101. Some of you are gonna ask, what's the NOI? You should know that by now by watching my videos. But basically, it's income, uh, your, your rental income minus your operating expenses equals your NOI. That's, so as that number goes up, so does your property value. Now, uh, how do you increase the NOI? Well, you can increase the NOI by doing certain things. You can increase the NOI by increasing the rents, right? So as the leases come up in your, with your tenants, you can 
uh, increase their rents. That's one way of, of, of hiking up the NOI. The second way is called RUBS. We call this uh, ratio utility building system where you actually build back the tenants for the utilities. Okay, so that's one way of taking uh, the utilities burden off of you, putting back that, putting that back on the tenants that increases your cash flow, I mean, increases your NOI as well. Or you can add other income. We just recently discovered that everyone around our property was charging $400 for a pet. So guess what we started doing? Anybody that came in with a pet, we were charging $400. Uh, and now also we increased the monthly fee for your pet to $75. So across the board, anyone with a pet gets charged $400 off the bat, right? Plus there's a $75 a month extra to their rent for them to have a pet. And guess what? No pushback at all from them because they love their pets. What that does, that increases our NOI, and guess what? Because of that, our property value is shooting through the roof. Uh, the fourth thing you can do, in addition to increasing the rents or the income, you can reduce your expenses. That has the same effect on the NOI, okay? If you can reduce expenses, you can do that by being more efficient with your property operations, uh, uh, just being a better operator, hiring really good property management that are really efficient. Uh, the second thing you can do is just an example, you can contest your property taxes. If you believe your property tax is too high, you can hire a company, a firm, or an attorney, real estate attorney, that will go in and contest your property taxes to get them knocked down. Again, that goes straight to your bottom line, straight to your NOI. The other thing you can do is just cut expenses some other way. I'm sure you can. If you really, really look at your, at your income and expense statements, possibly there's something you can start cutting out that's unnecessary or too fat. The bottom line is it will increase your NOI. Because as you increase your NOI, you increase your property value. That is how you add value to your commercial property, hence the word value add commercial property. Got it? All right. So next, let's go into how to evaluate them. I see there. How to evaluate a value add commercial deal. Let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is make sure you understand the basics of very important terms in commercial deal evaluation. Uh, they're not complicated. In fact, I have a video here that uh, I want you to watch. It's called the seven commercial estate terms you must know. A link will appear on the screen. I want you to watch it after this video. It's very important to make sure you understand what I'm teaching here. Got it? All right. Now, how do you calculate? Well, let me start here. Once you increase the NOI in the property, the property value goes up as well. Re recall that, right? A few minutes ago. Now, uh, as, the, as the NOI goes up, and a property value go up, how do you calculate what increase in property value do you have? How do you calculate the value add? There you go. All right, so the, when you increase the NOI, the value add, which is in dollars, okay, it's in dollars, okay, it equals your increase in NOI divided by the market cap rate. So if you can increase the NOI per year, you divide it by your market cap rate and that will give you your value add. I will give you an example in a second. For the market cap rate, we're going to assume it's 8%. Okay? Market cap rate is, is a compilation of similar uh, commercial properties. If they're all multifamily, you use all multifamily, you find out uh, what they've sold for, and then you find out what the cap rates are, and you average it all together, and that comes out to be your market cap rate. If you want to find the market cap rate in your market, I want you to call a, your local commercial real estate agent and ask him that question. Mr. Agent, what is the market cap rate for C-class apartments in my neighborhood or on this street, okay? And then use that number here. I'm using 8% for this example. Now follow me along here. I'm gonna use a single family home. I'm gonna compare it with a 16 unit I'm going to compare that with a 90 unit so you can follow along the differences. Now, here is my rent raise per month. I, on my single family home, I'm going to raise the rent $200 a month, right? If I multiply that by 12, um, 
that gives me an uh, increase in NOI by $2,400 a year, right? $200 times 12, that's $2,400 added per year, added to my bottom line. Got it? So that's the NOI increase per year. Now, how much value did I add to my single family home by increasing uh, the, the NOI? Guess what? That number is zero. That's right. This does not apply to single family homes. This formula only applies to commercial real estate, right? Five units and greater for apartments and anything else that's commercial. It does not apply to a fourplex, triplex, duplex, or single family home, right? So this is why we love commercial. Commercial, we can force the appreciation, force the value up very quickly. In a single family home, you can double your rent, but the property value stays the same because a single family home property value is, by, is determined by what your neighbor's property down the street has closed uh, in value with, okay? All right, now, let's move on to the 16 unit apartment building. I'm also gonna rent, uh, raise the rent $200 a month on every of the units, every one of the units, 16 units, so 16 units times $200, right? Uh, times 12, for 12 months, gives me an extra $38,000, $38,400 per year add it to my NOI. Got it? All right, again, I raised the rent $200, on $200 per month on every 16 unit, right? I multiply that by 12, and I come up with an additional, to my bottom line, $38,400. Guess what that does? If I plug this formula in, the value add equals my increase in the NOI divided by market, by market cap rate, so $38,400 divided by 8% is $480,000. So I have, uh, I have a value add of $480,000. My NOI went up $38,000, but the property value went up $480,000. So you see the correlation there, how important the NOI is? So the NOI only went up $38,000, but the property value went up almost $500,000, right? Welcome to the beauty of commercial real estate. Now, I'm going to take uh, this $200 increase, I'm going to apply it to a 90-unit property, just like our student did, right? And I'll show you that video in a second. So $200 per unit times 90 units times 12 months gives me $216,000 increase per year in NOI. I do the same math. $216,000 divided by 8% cap rate gives me $2.7 million. So over the course of two and a half years, our student has increased his rent by $200 over his 90 units, and now it is worth an additional $2.7 million, right? That's the value add, right? So that is the power of the NOI if you can uh, increase the NOI. Got it? All right. So next, what I want to do is, is jump into... Uh, how to find, how to locate uh, the value add commercial opportunities. Let's go there next. How to find value add commercial deals. All right, so what you're probably expecting from me is to, for me to give you uh, websites or show you how to search for them with certain uh, search words or keywords. I'm not going to do that. All right, so there are no websites to go to. I'm going to cross that out. Instead, I want, this is you, I want you to develop a mindset and mentality, a new set of eyes of looking for value add opportunities, okay? So establish that new mindset, the new pair of eyes. It's very simple. So what am I looking for? You're looking for uh, this equation here. You want to see how much of an NOI can you increase the property by per year divided by the market cap rate. You want to come up with a value. So again, I showed you that if you can increase the property value uh, on a 16 unit, uh, each unit $200, that's $38,000 a year, you increase the property value by $500,000. So I want you to do that with every property that you look at from now on, okay? Those are the new set of eyes. That's the mentality I want you to have. Every commercial deal that you look at, look to see, look to see if you can raise the rent or other income, okay? So if you can raise the rent, perhaps add rubs, 
or build back the utilities, or can you reduce expenses? All right. So how do you how do you know if you can raise the rents or add other income? Well, real quick check. You can go on to rentalmeter.com if it's an apartment building, and you can go there to see if the rents can be raised. Uh, if you have a, an office building or a warehouse, and you want to know what the going rates are to see if you can raise the rents, you go to LoopNet. There is a there's an acquisition side and there is a leasing side. Go to the leasing side. It will show you what other uh, office buildings, shopping centers are getting uh, uh, for rent per month. Okay, so go there. So that's how you check the city and raise the rent. Can you reduce expenses? Always ask that as well on your properties. How do you know if you can? Well, uh, I would say your first line of communication should be your, your, your property manager. Uh, your property manager uh, pays the bills every month for his properties. He probably know if your expenses are high enough. Uh, secondly, get an advisor, get a mentor to help you to see if um, it's possible uh, for you to reduce expenses. All right. Now, uh, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you go through a bunch of properties, let's say you go through 10 properties today, today. So choose 10 properties in your market. I guarantee you, two out of those 10 will be able, you'll be able to. Uh, do this formula and, and see the, the upside in value, all right? Again, I guarantee you, if you look at 10 properties and you run this formula, I guarantee you two out of those 10 properties will show uh, some type of upside. They may excite you, all right? Okay, so again, that's how you find uh, value at commercial estate. It's having a new set of eyes, looking at every single property the same way, right? Can I increase the NOI? Got it? All right. So let's move on to the last piece. I'm going to share with you uh, a real deal that one of our students did where he took a $3 million property and he increased it to $6 million in value in about, in about two and a half years. Let's go there next. All right. Let's wrap up this video uh, by uh, me sharing with you a roadmap to success and doing your first value add uh, commercial deal and making the big bucks. And, uh, and then lastly, I'll share with you uh, the 90 unit success story. All right, let's get started here. Here's a roadmap to making big bucks with value add commercial estate. I kept it nice and simple for you and it's, it's a, uh, a roadmap that we use at our company to, uh, today. All right, so number one, you have to get educated, right? You have to become a student of the game. You can also become our student, but you have to become a student of commercial real estate, watching these videos, reading books, meeting people, things like that, right? Number two, I want you to focus on one property type at a time. Do not do shopping centers, apartments, and self-storage. Choose one, get really good at it. There is power in focus. And also, I don't know anyone who's really, really, really good at apartments and really, really, really good at shopping centers. I know people who are really good at either one and made a fortune with them, all right? Okay, next is number three, get your team in place. Get a property manager, agent, get us involved, get a lender, so assemble uh, your team uh, so you can uh, take, the, so you'll be taken seriously when it's time to buy your property. Uh, number four, I want you to start evaluating lots and lots and lots of commercial properties so that uh, you can see if they do have the value add component attached to see if there's upside, to see if any of the numbers make you really excited. You have to go through quite a few to find that property. So start inventing lots and lots of deals and making lots and lots of offers. Okay? Lots. Number five, you're going to end up buying a commercial uh, property with value add. That's step number five. All right? This is a roadmap. You're going to do one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is you're going to actually buy uh, a value add commercial uh, deal, right? By following the first four. And then, really, really important, a lot of people leave this out, is you need to execute your extra strategy. A well thought out extra strategy is, ex is of extreme importance in the commercial real estate. If you're a beginner, don't try to do it yourself. You need someone with gray hair to help you out with this, okay? All right. Uh, and as I mentioned here, with the extra strategy, 
the big bucks are made on the exit. So the exit strategy has to be precise, razor sharp, and conservative. Got it? All right. Okay, let me end here. Um, so this is a, I'm going to share with you a real deal and then take it to the video. It's an amazing video. Uh, so here's a video. So Chris, one of our students, was a, a, a pilot, all right? And he wanted to uh, invest in commercial estate. He has a, he had a retirement that was doing okay, but nowhere near retirement, nowhere near, all right? So he came to us and uh, his, his uh, first deal, his first deal was a 90 unit apartment complex, right? And what he did was, to make a long story short, he took these 90 units and we helped him develop a value add strategy on fixing up the property, raising the rents, hiring good management, and, and uh, putting all that together in the first 12 months. And then, well, I won't go any more into the story, the video will show it, but you'll see that he followed all of these steps, all right? And then now, so what I want to do now is take you to the video. So right when I finish here, the video will appear on the screen of Chris's first deal. It was a 90 unit property where he bought it for three million and now it's worth over six million dollars in, in about two and a half years. Thank you everyone for watching How to Make Big Bucks with Value Add Commercial Real Estate. If you want more videos like this, just go to our website, commercialpropertyadvisors.com or simply subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and see you at the next video.